Alright guys, I'm back after two months of not making videos. So, I'm just going to do a reptile collection video for June. Yeah, so, um, this was Steve and King Kong's cage. If you guys didn't hear, they passed away. Um, same with the two garter snakes. Their cage is right there, but, um, the two baby garter snakes. Uh, but yeah, in here right now, I just have some lizards that I caught outside. I'm going to... Um, re re release them, but um, yeah, I'm. I just kind of wanted to keep them. It's fun to see how they move and interact and stuff. But yeah, I'll probably be releasing them. Um, I want to get a black throat monitor, and this would be its cage for a couple months, and then I'm. I want to make a, a bigger cage for it. But yeah, that's what I might be getting soon. So. Anyways, I'll kind of show you the lizards in here. I have this one lizard. It's not an ornate tree lizard. I forgot what it's called, but they look similar. It's right there. Let's see, I don't know how good you see them, but yeah. And then there's this western plateau lizard. And then there's a baby ornate tree lizard somewhere in here. I don't see him. He's probably hiding out somewhere. They always, like, they find really good hiding places in here, so. But, um, yeah. The substrate's pretty much just dirt from outside, some rocks and wood chips. But, let me see if he's over here. Um, no, I still don't see him. But, yeah, that's them. Uh, and you guys know my bearded dragon. He is right here. He's chilling. Just gave him some stuff yesterday. Didn't eat all of it, but um, yeah, this sim in this tank. He's pretty cool, except he doesn't really like people. He doesn't like being held and stuff. But yeah, look at that. Look at that face. Glorious. The screen's kind of dirty, but um, oh dang, made a giant turd right there. I have to clean that out. But yeah, um, over here, I have my wood house's toad. Probably going to revamp his or her cage soon to make it look more like the Sonoran Desert. But there, he or she is. It's pretty cool. He's not too fond of people. He's actually being pretty good right now. But yeah, he's just in a 10 gallon. He doesn't really move around that much. He just goes pretty much there in the water which I need to fill up a little bit more but um yeah and then down here is my bow constrictor named Sophia she's a jerk no but she's not the friendliest uh she's in this it's like six foot by three foot by two foot cage last her whole life uh, she's probably around four feet maybe nearing five yeah she's pretty cool she probably won't let me pet her I could see yeah see she's not she's definitely not super nice <coughs> <coughs> sorry but uh, yeah she's definitely not the friendliest gonna bite me no, she's bit me before like right when I got her but yeah it's your cage it's pretty sick yeah oh look somebody's coming out but yeah uh, moving on got king snake she's right here she has a heat pad right there there she is. Hello. She's not, you know, too fond of being held, but she's really tamed down from when I first got her. She's pretty cool. She's in a 20 gallon. Yeah. And so, over here. So, this was. If you guys follow my Instagram, this was uh, 
had a turtle that was sick. This is where she was staying. I still need to clean that out. Still need to clean out the two baby garter snakes that unfortunately passed away. But um, also trying this, uh, trying to farm worms. Awesome. You can see one of them right there. But this is pretty much potting soil. And I put oranges in there for them to eat. I heard they pretty much just eat anything. They eat like cardboard too, but I'm not going to feed them cardboard because I don't want my turtles and stuff to eat worms that are, have been eating cardboard. So, well, yeah, I just have them in this little thing. So, hopefully, I'm doing it right. Um, and I got my Snoring Desert Toad. Two of them. Right there. Let's see. There they are. They're pretty cool. They're fun to watch. The little garbage disposals, they'll eat anything. But yeah, they're in this thing. Which have dirt from the outside. It's pretty good. I water it down every, like, maybe like twice a week, maybe once a week, some, something around there. Yeah, they like it in here. It's cool. And here I have my corn snake. He's hiding behind the wall right now. Hey buddy, how you doing? You didn't know what he's looking at. Yeah, he's a snow morph. He's pretty cool, he's pretty chill. My man, I trust him. Looks like he shed too, I'll have to clean that up. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? That's what I think of this. But, uh, yeah, so I'll head outside and we'll look at the turtles. Alright guys, so here are the turtles. I have seven three-toed box turtles in here. Uh, this is the one that was sick. She's all better now. She's good. Uh, hopefully, I've seen some of them making burrows. Uh, hopefully we'll get some eggs. There's a burrow right there. I don't know if you could see it, but they... Like, they start digging it, and then you just kind of, like, left it in there, like, uh, whatever. But, um, I have these two bushes up here to kind of give them more shade. It's it's getting pretty hot. Like, it's only 100 right now, which is pretty cool. It's usually averaging around 110, 112 degrees. So, it's getting pretty hot. So, I'm, I water them down daily. Um, but, yeah, the water's super dirty. It's summer, so, like, all this stuff's growing in it and stuff. It's hard to clean out, but, uh, yeah. They're so cute. I post a lot of pictures of them on my Instagram page, which I'll, uh, give you guys the name to in the description. This one came racing up. What is this? <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah, but hopefully I get some eggs. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. Here's my male. He was also missing his foot, but yeah, that's pretty much the only revamps I did to the cage. I want to do more, but I might be moving soon. Not for sure. I don't know. So I'm trying not to do too much permanent stuff to the cage. Like I wanted to make a bigger water bowl and something that I could clean out easier because they're all like I walk out here and they're all seven of them are just sitting in there because it's so hot. But yeah. Then over here, I got my Russian tortoise who came out of his burrow. There he is. What's up, dude? He's cool. He's pretty chill. Actually, he's not chill. He doesn't really like being held and stuff, but he's fun to watch. He'll always go out here and he'll be out over by that grass ball just trying to climb up the side of this tire. Even though, to no success, but, yeah, he's in this tire. There's his water dish. It's just like one of those little potting things. It's shallow. And there's this burrow that he made. He likes that burrow. Yeah. He's cool. But, yeah, uh, that's it. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on the eggs and stay tuned to see if I get a black throat hopefully I do that'd be super sweet like that'd be so cool I've dated like the two months that I have not posted any videos 
I was just doing research because I really want to monitor. I've been doing tons and tons of research on every type of monitor. And I narrowed it down to three. Black throat, savannah, or Asian water monitor. And I really want the black throat. But I've done tons and tons of research. So, yeah, so hopefully I get that. But, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my Instagram page. See ya.